starting in Windows 10, users are going to get actionable notifications. We're gonna show you how they work. Stay tuned. Everybody, Daniel Rubino here with Windows Central. We're continuing our coverage here of the Windows 10 technical preview for phone. As you can see here, I got it loaded on a Nokia Lumia 830 from AT&T. And what I want to show you today are two things. One are actionable notifications and the other one's a new alarms app because they go hand in hand. So actionable notifications are coming to the platform, but you do need a Windows 10 app that can actually do them before they actually happen. So there aren't many out there right now. I know Skype is gonna have one because Skype and the messaging app are merging and they'll be uh, updatable through the store. And as a, uh, if someone messages you with like a text, it comes in, you'll be able to actually reply in line to that toast notification directly. So I've seen that demonstrated before. It's not in this build yet, so I can't show you, but that is coming. But let's take a look at the Alarms app. So Alarms has been completely overhauled as you can see here in Windows 10. It's actually really nice. It's just more full -field. Featured. If you haven't seen our coverage of the calculator app, that too has been overhauled and also has a ton of features. So what do you get here? You get alarms and you can of course set multiple alarms here. You can do repeats. Uh, you can put the specific days, which is kind of neat, uh, the time, uh, choose the sound and snooze time and all that kind of stuff. So really good, a lot of configurability options. There may be more stuff coming later, I don't know. But besides alarms, you also get this nice little world clock here and you can of course add your friends and family to the time zone in case you want to keep track of uh, you know, what time they are in the planet. Uh, you can also go over here and there's a timer. So this is a countdown timer you can set as well. And then uh, going over to a stopwatch, which is really nice. So of course you have play, pause, and you get the little lap there as well. And you can share that, which is kind of interesting. And you can definitely pin it too to your start screen. So uh, you can see I have the little stopwatch there. So I have quick access. So definitely neat stuff there. If you go to the gym a lot, that stuff's now built in. It should be really good. But what I want to show you, of course, is those actual notifications. And so what we can do here is I got a little timer. I'm going to have it start counting down. And you're going to see the uh, toast notification pop up in a little dismiss tool. You see right here, as it comes in, now it says dismiss. And so I can dismiss that alarm. And so that is one example of how those notifications kind of work. And let me try something else here. I'm going to reset that. Let me turn that volume just a tad. Is it a little loud? And we'll start to count down. And it comes in. I can also swipe up and that gets rid of it, but not really. It's going to still actually appear in the notification center. And as you can see here, it is another new feature. We get this little uh, down carrot arrow type thing. And if I tap that, it's going to bring up that full uh, system, that, the full notification basically. And you can see I got that dismiss tool back again. So that's definitely really nice. This is another part of uh, Windows 10 with the notification center. You can basically expand the notification. So if you have an email, you don't see just that first line. You can actually see a little bit more. It's really good for things like weather alerts where sometimes it gets cut off when it comes in. So you can expand it. You can also expand them when they come in as toast notifications. And of course you can dismiss them by sliding away. And what's really cool too with this is on email, uh, before in Windows Phone 8.1, you would have to clear all your emails with one swipe, but you couldn't do individuals. Now you can do individual emails or the entire category if you so choose. So definitely a lot more finer grain tools here in Windows 10 and it's coming along very nicely. Microsoft clearly has a lot of work left with this operating system. They really haven't touched the UI too much. So there's uh, going to be a lot more changes coming down the road, but there you go. So far looking very cool. Actionable notifications coming down the road. That stuff should be open to developers. It'll be interesting to see what happens, but we'll learn more about that at Build later in April. But there you go. Head to Windows Central for more information. If you have any questions, leave us a comment. We'll try to answer them. Take care, everybody.